Happy new comic book day, webheads! That's right, guys! It's still a few hours before I have to go to the comic book shop, so I'm up extra early to prepare that list to bring with me to the shop so I don't miss any books like I did last week. webheads out there welcome back to comic book corner 2.0 in fans i am your host mike spider slayer getting ready to bring a spider slayers comic book haul fans this is episode 441 and this is the video series where each and every week i share with you what i pick up at the comic book store which is right behind me as usual it's comic central they provide the best service great discounts and guys, I couldn't ask for anything better. So, fans, I tell you, it was another heavy week for me. Mostly focused, I think, on variant books. And a book that I did not pick up last week that I finally picked up. But here we go. The Mysterious Black Bag. That's what's inside here, guys, is the comic books. And here we go. And blah, there is your stack for the week. It's pretty freaking huge let me just tell you and the first thing i wound up getting is this promotional poster from dc comics the other history of the dc universe that goes up in my garage so i'll hang that up then i wound up getting this promotional joker card barbara on the bottom and then the killing joke on the uh on the uh, uh, top side of it, you know, really cool. Uh, so I wound up getting that as well. And now we will get into the books and we're starting off with Batman Joker War Zone. This is issue one. Crazy cover here as you get to see the Joker and we get to see Batman. They're split in half, looks really cool. Here's some of the interior artwork inside. You know, I heard this. Uh, this could be a pretty awesome book. You know, a lot of things that could happen in it. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing what's going on. Batman, the Joker War Zone, issue one. All right. Next, we wind up getting the variants cover for that book. And uh, I had to get this cover because for me, this freaking kills that first cover there. Even though that cover is good, I love seeing Clown Hunter. You wind up seeing Spoiler and uh, Cassandra Kane on there as Batgirl or Batwoman, whatever you want to call her. And uh, yeah, really cool. So awesome cover there. Next from DC uh, is Wonder Woman issue 763. And this is, I would think, maybe the conclusion to this story called Liar Liar as we get to meet Maxwell Lord's daughter uh, and she is fighting against Wonder Woman. At first you thought she was a good guy but yeah not so much. I think the artwork is pretty awesome in this book. I love the colors. It's bright and vibrant and I've been um, liking this run of Tamaki's uh, Wonder Woman here. So this is quite interesting. I don't know what we're going to get after this book because eventually it's going to lead into Endless Winter. So we'll see what happens with it. But for now, we're at 763. All right, next. I uh, decided to pick this one up. It's an annual. It's Justice League. This is issue two. want to see what the annual has to offer for its readers. Uh, I don't know if it's tied into the last story arc or whatnot, but Maybe this is a standalone story. And I always try to lead, read Justice League because I feel like you need to read it. It's a flagship shit book. But the frustrating thing is it had so many different creative teams on it for the past few months. And it's just frustrating. But I wanted to see what this story was about. So there we have Annual 2. All right. Next, uh, we'll go into an independent book here. We got Year Zero. This is the conclusion to the first volume of this book. Love this cover. It's so awesome. Love to see these points of view of these different people on how they're dealing with the zombie apocalypse. And the one character in here, um, 
Uh, I think his name is BJ or whatnot. This guy who drives a zombie killer. He is the best character in the book. As uh, He's like a Eugene from The Walking Dead. I, he tries to be real smart and deal with all the situations. So yeah, it's a good book, man. And it's got renewed for a volume two or season two, whatever you want to call it. And uh, looking forward to the next volume and seeing how this one ends up. So that's year zero, issue five of five. All right, guys, and now it's time for those Facebook shout-outs. Yes, guys, that's right. It's time for the Facebook shout-outs. And, guys, today the first shout-out goes to Ron Weaver, who went to the clearance bin at Walmart and found this hardcover with the animated movie adaptation in the back in the DVD and Blu-ray section. He's a huge Superman fan, so, so congratulations on finding that awesome deal. I'm going to have to search Walmart myself. Next, we have Ken, who is one of the original webheads on this Facebook group page and says, wow, DC guy got three Marvel comics this week. He wound up getting Maestro, wound up getting She-Hulk, and wound up getting Spider-Man Noir. Congratulations there, Ken. And then next, we wound up getting Daniel Rose, who wound up getting a bunch of Peacemaker books because obviously we just got the announcement that John Cena is going to be doing a spin-off show on HBO Max plus he picked up this She-Hulk issue number two that's a great find right there and then last but not least I have the newest webhead right here on the group page by the name of Christian and he says my first post on Comic Book Corner 2.0 huge fan of the YouTube channel keep up the great work Michael a month behind on my haul due to work, but thanks to my local comic shop for holding my comics. And then he's got a whole bunch of, a whole big stack of CGC and all his other books there. So, yes, congratulations to you on all those books. And, guys, if you want a shout out right here on the haul, all you got to do is join the Facebook group page called Comic Book Corner 2.0 Webhead Unite. I'll approve you and you're in. It's free. And now back to you, other Mike Spider Slayer. All right, next, another independent. This is from Dark Horse. Stranger Things. This is issue one of four. Um, this is Science Camp. So it was in, in Dustin or Dusty, I don't even remember his name. I haven't seen the show in so long now. Uh, and his little girlfriend, you get to see them kind of like what they experienced during the time that they were in science camp during the summertime. Who knows what this story is about. But I'm curious to see this little spinoff off, of off the show here. So there's Stranger Things issue one of four. All right, next we go on to an image book and this is two. This is issue three. Love this story. It's a different point of view of Detective Chu's uh, sister. And she's like the bad guy. So everything that you read in the original Chu, you just, again, get to see it from her point of view. You get introduced to different characters. But the similar events are going on in here. There's this one guy. His name here. He drinks like energy drinks. And he like knocks people's heads off. It's freaking hilarious. It's such a great book, man. This is Chu. This is issue three. All right. Next, uh, we have another DC book. This is the book I forgot to pick up last week after I went back twice. But this time I wound up getting it. And you know what? I think they didn't get this book last week. And that's why I didn't see it because it was on the rack this week as a new book. So this one is Batgirl issue 49. This is the conclusion to this story called Collateral Damage. Um, and I guess there's other Batgirls posing as Batgirl. I don't know. I heard the premise of this story. I think the ending is supposed to be really good. And uh, I'm looking forward to reading it. So here we have some of that artwork there. So that's the conclusion to Batgirl issue 49. All right, next we have another independent book. This is Transformers the Terminator. This is issue, what are we on, four? Yeah, this is issue four as we get to see our Autobots and the Terminator team up to try to do uh, battle against the Decepticons. There's Sarah Connor on there as she teams up with Bumblebee. Looks like you got Ravage in there as well. So that's pretty cool also. 
a little bit heavy on the inks it looks like in this particular issue but nevertheless it's cool to see all these classic autobots from the day here's some cool battle scene there with the terminator so awesome stuff man can't wait to read this one issue four of this series all right next we wind up getting from marvel we're finally hitting marvel here it was on the hot seat, but yes, guys, I decided to get it. This is Marvel Zombies Resurrection. This is issue two. I'm giving this one another try. I'm going to see how it turns out. If it's not any good, uh, this might be the end of it for me, but I decided to give it another shot. The artwork is not my favorite. The story is not my favorite, but uh, again, I'm going to give it the benefit of, uh, of the doubt. I'm going to be optimistic about it, and we'll see where it goes from there. So Marvel Zombies Resurrection Issue 2. Great cover, though. If anything, I got an awesome cover. Next is X of Swords X Factor Issue 4. So X, fact, uh, X of Swords... This is part two of 22. The first chapter, creation, was a lot of story. It was a lot of that set up. So now hopefully in issue two, we get more of the story that uh, continues from issue one. Apocalypse basically got the piss beat out of him from his own children. We find out that there's a traitor amongst the group from Krakoa. It was kind of like all a setup. The artwork looks really good in this particular issue. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to see how things play out in this huge story of the X-Men. So, there we have it. X-Factor Issue 4, uh, Part 2 of that story. Then, next, I wound up getting uh, Strange Academy. This is Issue 3, Doyle du Dormammu. Uh, great looking cover here by Herberto Ramos. I uh, just love the facial expression here. He's getting ready to do his magic. I think that's pretty awesome. And uh, here we get to see some more of that artwork by Herberto Ramos as well. Written by Scotty Young. Love seeing this crazy school, uh, you know, with all these sorcerers and magicians. And the problem is with this book, and I'm not sure if it's going to plague it or not, is how do these all these characters that are in this book stand out? They're going to be, you know, trying to compete for panel time. You know, what is going to be your favorite character? So we'll see what happens. So Strange Academy, this is issue three. All right. Next, we wind up getting uh, another independent. This is Spawn issue 310. Uh, love this cover here. I love, love like the top hat there with Spawn. Um, and I'm really going to collect these for some of the covers. I think the covers just look absolutely amazing in here but here's some of the artwork if you guys are looking forward to uh the artwork inside i just for some reason i always feel lost with spawn i heard this might be a good jumping on point of it you know in it again so yeah we'll see what happens with that one so we got spawn issue 310 all right so next we have new number one from marvel this is the shang chi issue one so I don't know much about the character, but the comic book shop manager inside told me, you know what, you don't have to know anything about Shang-Chi. This is a good jumping on point. It's a good setup. Here's some of the interior artwork if you guys are really on the fence about this particular series. So here we have some more. There we go. And we have that. And so with that, wound up coming the variant cover. I thought this was a really nice variant cover. Very realistic looking really cool so we got that all right and then next we have from aw a upshot we have also the conclusion to the resistance another solid book here you know end of the world scenario but birth that came some superheroes and they call themselves the resistance and uh a lot it's a real political type of book governments involved and whatnot so really interesting the dotto uh, Junior does the artwork in here. If you haven't picked up past issues, Webheads, you got to pick up the trade to this. This is pretty good stuff here. All right. And then next, we wind up getting um, the Immortal Hulk, the Threshing Place. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. This one is written by Jeff Lemire. And Jeff Lemire knows how to write some out there stories. And uh, I think this one could be really good. Kind of a little bit of a different take on the Hulk. Check out the artwork in here. So anything with Immortal Hulk, I'm always on board. But Jeff Lemire is a great writer. And uh, he's currently writing The Family Tree. And I love that series. So I can't wait to see what happens in this issue. 
All right. Next, we have a lot of Alex Ross covers this week. The first one we have is X Factor, X of Swords. We have the Angel cover. Then we have the Strange Academy, Timeless Alex Ross, uh, Doctor Strange cover. Then we have the Fantastic Four, uh, issue 24. We have uh, Johnny Storm. And next we have Reed Richards from Fantastic Four, issue 24, which is cool. That's a nice one. I like this one. This one has Sue Storm. So we have that. So basically the whole Fantastic Four set came out this week. Then we have The Thing. And I love the detail that goes into The Thing there. That's cool. And then next one we got is um, Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers, issue 36. This is Ghost Rider on there. So that's pretty awesome too. All right. And then we wound up getting the Department of Truth. Truth issue one from Image Comics, Conspiracy Theories. Um, I This book really sounded interesting. Artwork might not be my favorite in this as it has this painted style of artwork, uh, but nevertheless, this story could be really, really good uh, of everything. And then I wound up getting this uh, Ginny Frizen uh, variant as well. So that one is, is pretty cool. So nice how it really stands out or pops. And then we wound up getting, yes, guys, all the Batman 3 Joker covers. We wound up getting Batman 3 Jokers, the Joker behind the bars, right? And then we wound up getting this Joker cover with him with the uh, little eyepiece. Then we got Barbara Gordon on there, which is my favorite one of the week. And then we have Joker that was behind the desk who looks like he's the older Joker. And then last but not least, we have the Joker that is putting makeup on his face. <laughs> so that's cool too. So there you have it, webheads. There is the haul for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I want to know what you got in the comment section below. And if you like the content that you see here today, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and I'll leave you more content right here. And until next time, guys, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, guys. Bye.